the penultimate race of the day, race number nine. This is 1,000 metres. It's class two company and some potential top liners squaring off here against each other. At the top, it's Saul Special Dragon General, both getting a drop in grade. Big time baby, refined treasure. Four out of seven, he's won over the course and distance and had two seconds. Thanks Forever resuming, chasing a HAB, as is Voyage Warrior, who went under 55 seconds last season. A Thero, Joe Marrera takes over the reins. Multi-Million has won five over the course and distance. Cue the music's the interesting newcomer, a former very good two-year-old in South Africa. Perfect Glory's been racing well, but this is too short. Red Desert, another one chasing that high achievement bonus. Sevens Heaven likes the course and distance, and Team Spirit, is on a rating of 80. They could have gone to an easier contest. They've opted to stay here. Multi-million, perfect glory, seven's heaven, or seven heavens, is uh, the three horses, or are the three horses, that have been at Chun Fa. Pace, 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 Tom. There's heaps of it. Uh, big time baby. He's got uh, the uh, stall of gate number one, so he's going to have to do a little bit of work to fire across towards the outside rail. You've got uh, multi-million there. He'll be right up on the pace. Voyage Warrior, he'll be on the pace. Next line, saw Special. Thanks, River. Cue the music has shown some pace. Team Spirit, you can see a Thero buried back in the pack there. It'll be interesting to see how it works out for him because it didn't go to plan last start. This is a 1,000 metre specialist, this is refined treasure. As Brett mentioned, seven starts, four wins, two seconds, and the other time he got knocked over, and that was on debut. So he just loves it down the straight 1,000. He's going really well, he's tuned up. Uh, Voyage Warrior was a massive trial winner recently. We know he's a very quick horse. Uh, there's a lot of hype around him as well. He's only been beaten once. It was on a rain-affected track that day as well, so I don't know if that had something to do with it, but mm. um, he looks good, and Athero... Look, it was a horror show for punters last start with him. Everything went wrong. Uh, it be interesting to see how he, how he does go. Interesting, um, uh, Zach Purden did ride him in this uh, piece of work as well, but uh, Joe Moreira will take over on race two. Yes. Yeah, no, it's a quality race, isn't it? And I, I say there's some potential top liners here. Definitely a Thero, obviously, in that category. Let's go back to that performance. Perfect glory out the back. Steamed home. Uh, it's going to be too sharp for him, I would probably think, and Team Spirit's going to struggle with the class. We did talk leading into this race that a Thero going into a tougher contest with speed around him might get himself into the uh, uncomfortable mm. zone, and that definitely happened. It certainly did. It didn't help at the start here. He got whacked from pillar to post uh, there pretty much out of the, the start. Um, he just got very keen. He was fighting Zach. Um, for, what he, for what he did and everything that went wrong... He still stuck on fairly well there. For everything that just mm. went totally mm. belly up, it wasn't a bad run. Yeah, you definitely can't sack him. That's well, no, no, definitely not. I'm, I'm going to stick with him, actually. I'm, mm. I've got him on top. Uh, I mean, there's not much between him, Voyage Warrior, and I think even Refined Treasure. This might be the day you get a price about him as well. Yeah, good, good one. Yeah, it's a very good race. Let's go to Zach Purton, who obviously has a fair idea on a number of these runners. He's chatting with Ed Sadler. Zach Voyage Warrior, that trial, he's obviously come back well. Oh, yeah, those thousand-metre trials here on the dirt, um, they can be deceiving at times. We've seen horses win by big margins there, and you know it doesn't doesn't mean a lot. But um, you know he's going to need to have come on from that. He was really feeling it the last hundred metres. Was his first trial of the season, so I'm sure he will. You've um, obviously been chasing the horse for a while. Late last season, he was pretty impressive. What he did early on, he's a horse that you wanted to be getting on. Yeah, well, he hasn't done anything wrong really. I know he's got the one defeat, but. Um, he's run good time, he, he's looked good um, in winning his races. And, you know, although he was able to win at his last start, he was at the end of his prep and a little bit tired and still put up a, a good performance. So he's a fresh horse this season. Um, he's had the benefit of a short break. And let's hope he can just continue to improve. Ricky's publicly stated his confidence through the press this week. Do you echo those comments? Well, you always go into every race hoping that you're going to win it. It's a strong race. I hope that Ricky's right. Will it be difficult? A couple of barriers next to you. You've got a Thero there? Yeah, he's obviously um, another horse that looked very exciting last season. Things didn't go right for him first up. Uh, he comes back to the straight track where um, he's been very effective and no doubt it's going to be a good race. And the horse that beat... Voyage Warrior, thanks for effort. You beat him that day. What are your thoughts on him? Yeah, he's another one. He's, he's just a different horse up the straight. You put him around a corner and it's like uh, he just doesn't know what he's doing. His legs go everywhere. So there was no fluke in um, his victory over 
Voyage Warrior when they met last time. You know, I could easily go and do it again, I suppose. What's the reasoning here then why you're on Voyage Warrior? I had a commitment a fair way out. He's a nice horse, so... You know, they're three nice horses. Um, it's good for racing that they all get to meet. Hopefully I'm on the right one, but I won't know that until we hit the line, I suppose. All right, a bit to take in there, mm. isn't there? So uh, very nice horses, all three of them. Is it just between those three? That's what we need to ask. We need to include multi-million, obviously, in the conversation. He is a winner of five over the course and distance, but the class may be the issue. Yeah, it just might be um, he's stepping up to a class two for the first time. An easy, bar easy barrier trial win for him up at Chung Fa by a, a couple of links on this occasion. It's his biggest test to date. We know he's got plenty of speed. It's just a case with all that speed around him, whether he can see it out. Yeah, will they take a sit with him or the, will they get into a speed battle? If they get a, into a speed battle, it'll set, I think it'll set it up for something behind. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Mm. Although, you know, it's a, it's an interesting race. Paul, who'd you side with in the end? I went with the Thero. I'm going to give him another chance to beat Voids Warrior, uh, Refined Treasure, the specialist. And look, if, if there is a blowout and there's all this pace in the race, Seven Heavens, we've seen him finish off his races before, so mm. I just kept him safe, put him in for fourth. Seven, six, four, thirteen. I'm with Voyage Warrior. If he can run anywhere near 54, 8, 9 like he did when he won, I think he can go close and win this. Ethero's the big danger. Refined treasure with his great course and distance uh, record and uh, thanks forever. So 6, 7, 4 and 5. There's a few others I'd want there as well. Red Desert, Seven Heavens and the, the trio, but uh, Voyage Warrior clearly on top. Uh, I think it's the most anticipated race of the day, actually. I know we focused highly uh, and closely on the Class 2 earlier, but this is a cracking race mm. and there'll be a lot to learn from it. All right, that's race nine. A quick break when we come back, race 10, and all the best bets.